in all honesty, women do need men. I mean, if you're going to break it down, I think it's just their mentality mindset. It, that is their way of actually tricking themselves into believing that lie. Because like, you know what? I can't get a man because of X, Y, and Z. I'm having difficulties with a man for X, Y, and Z. So if I can trick myself into actually believing that lie, saying I don't need a man, then I'm not as depressed about it. That, it. That, that's my take on how it would be. I mean, I, I went through that phase once before my life. I was never a party girl. I never did that. I mean, I, when you asked, like, where were you at 25? I was married. I was married and working three jobs to put him through his career. So I was busy. I was, I was matured at 25. So you, what, t what age did you get married? <laughs> um, I got married when I was, I believe, 24. But I was with him from when I was 21. And so when did you get divorced? I got divorced... We legally separated in 2017 and then um, got divorced on 2019. Wow. And then when did you meet Glenn, your, your husband now? The funny thing is, is like we were actually just friends. <clears throat> he met me at the gym. But did you meet him when you were still married? No, we were legally separated at the time. Okay. And we weren't dating. We were just friends. Okay. So, so stop. My question is, this is, this is for the viewers. I tell women... Your guy friends that you're compatible mm -hmm. with are the guys you should be in a relationship with. Right. Most women have this resource biological need ingrained in them. Women, so, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> women uh, generally, based on the, the Evolution of Desire, a book by David Buss, I encourage everyone to read it. He's a clinical psychologist out of uh, UT of Austin, I believe. He talks about generations and generations of relationships and dating mm -hmm. and mating, mating strategies. Mm -hmm. And they've interviewed over 10,000 women from different cultures, backgrounds, races, religions, ethnic beliefs, all this stuff. And they found that 100% of the women biologically lean towards someone that has resources. But what happens is when a woman feels that she has the ability to have the guy and there was no, I don't want to say chase that that person necessarily doesn't have resources biologically. They want to go, they're competitive. Women are competitive indirectly, yes. right? Yes. So if you, it, as much as women say, I don't like Dan Blazerian. Okay. I'm not saying, I don't know the guy. Okay. Visually you can say, okay, this guy's got all these hot women, whatever. Oh, look at him. He's just a player, whatever biologically women are attracted to that because of the security and resources biologically they can push back but when they have a, a child and they have uh, you know responsibilities for their offspring and they want they want to secure that environment they look for the the biggest strongest brightest smartest wealthiest person with the most resources now from the outside now this is a this is a clinical psychologist that did the study over Five over five years, ten thousand. They interviewed ten thousand people from okay. every religion background, and the number one thing women look for is resources to secure their longevity. Now, that's why men and Rollo talks about this sexual marketplace value. W women look at men as success objects. True for security. That's the resources. But does it have to be about money? I don't necessarily think that provision aspect of it could be about money no no it, it not necessarily but they want to have that that security in place but my point is is that guy friends that are available inherently women sometimes feel like there's not a big desire for that guy which i disagree with the reason that guy's friends with you obviously he's friends with you okay glenn's a heterosexual male he's like a <laughs> Neanderthal. So, sorry, Glenn. <laughs> Guy's big, buff, tattoos, beard. Looks like he popped out of a cave. <laughs> he's fr he likes you as a person, but he saw you. He's like, wow. The first thought was, I'd like to X, Y, Z. Right? No disrespect. No, he admitted that later. I didn't know that he had liked me. I mean, this big dude. Wait, wait, like, wait time, time, time. He was friends with you. You knew he didn't like you. He was friends with you. How did you not know he didn't like you? Because literally it was all about supplements because he knew that I was competing. Glenn. So he did that as like an <laughs> opener and he was like, look, I heard you overhearing about supplements and like I work and I'm sponsored by a supplement. If you have any questions, just let me know. <laughs> yeah. Like, so we just 
We were both competitors, so we worked out together. We did posing okay, together. Okay, okay, but he was thinking. Glenn's not going to admit it. He no, was no he, he admitted. He goes, the minute I saw you in the gym when I was like, when because he went because a buddy told him about me. He'd be like, there's this girl. You really got to see her at the gym. He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. He's like, no, I'm serious. You got to look. You got to see this chick. So then he sees me, and he was like, she going to be mine. But well, I didn't know that. Right. So, <laughs> so to my point to women, they say, well, my guy friend, he's just a friend. Yeah. So when I tell people that, Look, and I and I didn't even have to tell my girlfriend this. She didn't want guy friends. Mm -hmm. But it's not that I don't trust her. I don't trust them. Which is true. Right? They have an alternative motive. Glenn had an alt alternative ulterior motive. Yes. Indirectly. Nice yes. guy. Glenn, sorry, we're not bashing on you. So I'm not coming at you. I'm just saying my point is, is that guy friends <clears throat> generally are the right man for you as a woman. But you, you'll, you'll find very attractive women. Sometimes you'll see a lot of these women with guy friends, but they're not in a relationship. Right. But then when they get in a relationship, they don't want to leave their guy friends. Oh, I have no problem with that. Like I did, The only guy friends I've actually really had, I mean, most women do say this, I get a bit along better with guys. I mean, I do when I was single, but when I'm in a relationship... I don't really communicate with guy friends and I kind of just disassociate. But you did that by your choice. Yes, because it's, it's inappropriate because I live the standard like do you want to others. So I'm like, I don't wouldn't feel comfortable if like if my husband was becoming friends with all of these single but, women. But he has a bunch of girlfriends. No. Yeah, that's what he told me. I'm just no. kidding. No, he doesn't. <laughs> did you see her? No. She went cat mode. Don't, like... don't, don't, don't let the flames okay. start coming okay, out. But